Many people who commented on my Cubo video said that they watched Cubo because they couldn't afford or didn't have cable. Well, checkmate, guys, because this video is about a channel that you didn't just need to afford cable in order to see. That's right, it's HBO, or more specifically, HBO Family. When I was growing up, my family had Dish Networks, a satellite provider. Dish was well known back then for including HBO by default with subscription, meaning you didn't have to pay extra for the channel if you had Dish. As a result, my brothers and I grew up watching the channel, especially HBO Family. I remember my father recording several shows for us to watch, including a few on VHS. And, as a 2000s kid growing up with HBO Family, I of course remember Jam. When my father moved out of my mother's house and into an apartment a block or two away, I remember that my brothers and I would watch HBO Family Jam recordings at lunch or supper every other day there. It was one of the first things we watched when my father first moved into that apartment. Good times. We would watch shows like Happily Ever After, Kindergarten, A Little Curious, Harold and the Purple Crayon, I Spy, El Perro y El Gato, and Classical Baby. My favorite was Crashbox. Seriously, that show was awesome. In fact, if you never watched that show when you were younger, I feel sorry for you. It was just that good. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this channel and its former block, Jam. Before HBO Family, HBO made two attempts at family-friendly networks. The first was Take Two in April of 1979. Take Two was essentially HBO but without any R-rated content, making the network more appealing to families with young children. However, not many people subscribed to Take Two because many major cable networks didn't carry it, and Take Two was discontinued just months after it was released. The second attempt was Festival in 1987. Like Take-Two, Festival was a separate premium channel. It offered classic and newer family-friendly movies as well as HBO original content, rented center stage on Festival. They also had family-friendly versions of R-rated movies, in which all of the R-rated portions were edited out. However, like Take-Two before it, Festival suffered from a lack of carriage from many major networks and was shut down in late 1988. In December of 1996, HBO Family was launched. This channel featured new kids' shows as well as kids' movies and family-friendly movies. Unlike Take-Two and Festival, HBO Family was a channel included with HBO, instead of a separate premium channel, and was thus available everywhere HBO was available. As a result, HBO Family was a success and it is around to this very day. In 2001, HBO Family launched two new blocks, Jam, a preschool block that aired in the morning, and Magnet, a block aimed at older kids that aired in the afternoon. It is the former that this video will be focusing on. The mascot for Jam was a grape jam blob named, you guessed it, Jam. From 2001 to 2010, Jam was in 2D, and from 2010 onwards, he was in CG. Jam aired from 6 to 11 a.m. every weekday, and featured shows such as Crashbox, Happily Ever After, I Spy, Kindergarten, and Harold and the Purple Crayon. Interstitials were also aired during commercial breaks, which included El Perro y El Gato, HBO Family 411, and The Way I See It. On August 15th, 2015, HBO made a deal with Sesame Workshop to premiere new episodes of Sesame Street on HBO. Just over five months later, on January 16th, 2016, Sesame Street officially started airing on HBO Family. This would prove fatal to Jam, as the block was discontinued the next day. Jam was replaced by a new block called HBO Kids. This block airs from 5 to 10 a.m. and has much of the same content as Jam, minus the Jam branding. Even after all of my research, I don't know why Jam was discontinued. Maybe the block wasn't doing so well in ratings, and HBO thought that after first airing Sesame Street seemed like the perfect time to kill it. Maybe HBO thought the brand was outdated. In any case, Jam did much better than its sister block Magnet, which was killed over a decade earlier in 2005. 
Content for both blocks is rare, and not many videos exist on YouTube relating to Jam, and even fewer for Magnet. I wasn't even able to find a single HBO Family 411 episode. Many of the Jam videos on YouTube are badly made fan-made bumpers from a user called Tegan Wange, which is one of the weirdest names I've ever heard. Jam on HBO Family Block in 2001. Next on Jam, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. It's time to stop! Seriously, his many phony bumpers made searching for content to use in this video harder. Anyway, I miss Jam, as do many of you, and I don't think it was smart for HBO to discontinue it. Maybe they could have updated the styling or renamed it without getting rid of the mascot or overall theme. Will HBO bring it back? Probably not. But hopefully, more Jam content will resurface and we can learn more about this interesting and nostalgic brand, and perhaps Magnet as well. Let me know in the comments. Why do you think Jam was discontinued? Do you remember it from when you were a kid? Anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned. This is a story about my sister just got her license and now she can drive me places like when I want to meet my friends or something. She listens to like angry chick music and stuff. Sometimes I, I rag on it like change the channel, come on, but I can deal with it. She takes me places so I'm gonna have to sacrifice a little bit, right? It's cool. She drives kind of slow and she's real nervous, like, especially on like big roads. She like flips it out when people <gasps> pass her and stuff. One day, we're driving down Route 23, and she's, you know, going, I don't know, 35, 40, going putt, 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 and this big construction truck comes up, you know, honk, honk, come on, Laura, what are you doing, dude? This guy's behind us. And so she looks to her left, like, what? And then she, like, goes out in the middle of the road, like, eh, and then there's other people coming, and so she, like, drives out the road, and then she was all, like, scared, like, sitting there, breathing real hard, like, it was exciting. I really appreciate being able to go places like with her and I'm proud of her that she got her license and she's gotten a lot better and used to the road and stuff.